How does someone become a self-motivated person? To show you exactly why you're not motivated, in this video I'm going to talk about what motivation really is, where does it come from, and tell you a story of how I became a little more self-motivated and how I believe you can as well. If we Google define motivation, it says motivation is a reason or reasons for acting or behaving in a particular way. Basically, motivation is that desire to accomplish something. And that desire to accomplish something comes from two main ways and that's from external factors and internal factors. External factors contribute to extrinsic motivation and internal factors contribute to intrinsic motivation. So, extrinsic motivations are things like wanting to get better grades, getting a sticker or a praise log in school, doing something for money, doing something so that you don't get detention, guilt trips, not receiving physical punishment, expectations from parents, impressing your friends or someone you fancy. So, a person with extrinsic motivation is someone who wants to do something in order to receive a reward or benefit or to avoid a punishment or some consequence of failing. Now let's talk about intrinsic motivation. These are things like doing something because it makes you feel good or doing something because you feel inspired. That's really powerful. Or doing something because you're curious or doing something because you just enjoy the learning process or even the desire to just be your personal best. Those are examples of intrinsic motivation. It's things within and a person with intrinsic motivation is someone who wants to do a task to get pleasure from doing doing the task itself. So let's go back to that question. How do you become a self-motivated person? I've considered myself a self-motivated person since sixth form and I'm going to tell you the story of why that's the case. If you're subscribed to the channel, I big up, big up, big up. You'd know that I've repeated the year in sixth form because I failed my A-levels. At that point in time, I had zero motivation, but you know, a couple days later, a couple weeks go by. If it wasn't for me, finding extrinsic motivation, I would have not have gone out of that rut. My extrinsic motivation was that I didn't want to fail again. It feels horrible. Oh, I also realized for the first time in my life, I didn't want to lose future opportunities because I did bad now. And that negative reinforcement really did make me want to search for answers and just pretty much learn how to become a better and smarter person. I also had expectations from my parents and I was also scared about what my friends and what other people would think of me in general. I wasn't necessarily intrinsically motivated at this point because I wasn't doing anything out of pleasure. I was doing things because I wanted to get something out of it. And in this case, I wanted better grades. I wanted more opportunities. I didn't want to miss on opportunities. Also, uh, show people, my friends, that hey, I'm going to bounce back. Honestly, with these bad reasons, I mean, I don't know, but from my perspective, it was that wake up call that I needed to take school more seriously. So now I'm in sixth form with the year below and I'm attending lessons with them. But this time, as I'm repeating the year, I promised myself to just work harder for those extrinsic motivational reasons. I stayed after school to do my work, to take notes, to revise. I also tried to become more engaged with my lessons and that was when I actually discovered my intrinsic motivation for the subjects that I was studying for. When I was revising, it actually felt really good to finally understand something, to be at the end of my day and feel satisfied with the work that I've done. I was also getting so much satisfaction in breaking down complex ideas into its simplest form and being able to answer, you know, weird and new questions that I've never seen before. I was also increasingly becoming more curious because as you're learning the content, I was thinking to myself, yo, Aldrich, wouldn't it be sick? If you could answer exam questions, mm, yo, let's have a go, let's have a go. And the more I learned about my A-levels, uh, particularly maths, the more curious I became about engineering and how embedded maths actually is in almost everything we do. So even though I was motivated in all these ways to put in the work, I also needed self-discipline because I can't just work when I feel pleasure in doing it. I can't just work when I'm only curious, you know what I mean? Like, there's going to be ups and downs and I need to put that consistent effort over time. And that's the difference between general motivation and discipline. Motivation in general is that internal reasoning 
to put you on the path of achieving a goal, right? But how much effort you put into achieving that goal is discipline. I'll talk about discipline in another video. So what can you learn from that story? What did you figure out? What can you take from this video? Well, extrinsic and intrinsic motivations is two sides of the same coin. It's still motivation, but the more motivated you become in life, the more valuable you become because you'll end up trading this coin in business, in relationships, so that you can live the best life possible. Extrinsic motivation is short term. It helps you initiate action and build that desire to deliver results and to do well. Intrinsic motivation is more medium term. It's what makes that learning process more satisfying and it makes you want to keep up the hard work over time. And discipline is long term. You can't just do the things when you feel like you want to do it, right? You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Like you have to go through that topic even though you think it's boring and at the end of the day that that's called discipline so overall i believe a self-motivated person has intrinsical motivational reasons and intrinsical motivational reasons in doing well in doing the things that they are doing now think about what those reasons could be for you i want you to comment down below three reasons why you're motivated as a student and hopefully we can all help each other out yeah safe for watching this video consider liking and subscribing to the channel and yeah i'll see you in the next one safe